Hello and welcome back to Zim Explore. I am Dr. Abstract and in this Explore we're going to take a look at a question that was provided to us in Zim Slack. So here we are in Zim Slack, zimjs.com slash slack. It comes from Jonathan and he's got some code that he expected to work in a certain way but didn't and we had an answer from Amy and then I came in and answered and he's still a little bit unsure about things so I thought we would do a video. Does that sound like fun? So here's the code and we come on down it relates to intervals and also a little bit about animating. So we're in a Zim frame, a Zim fit frame and here's Jonathan's code right here. Alright so we've got a rectangle we are we defining a function called move and then we've got an interval down below this is a zim interval that has the time in seconds first as of zim cat the time in seconds and then what function to call when uh, two seconds is uh, up and then another two seconds etc so this is the first parameter of interval, and this is the second parameter of interval. Note that those are swapped with the JavaScript set interval. JavaScript set interval puts the function first and then the time, and I always forgot to put the time there, or half the time I forget to put the time there. And also this format with the time first and then the function sort of matches an event function where you put the event first and then the function to call, and in a loop you have how many times you want to loop and then put the function to call. So it sort of matches a little bit better. There is another parameter here called, uh, well, I can't remember actually, either this is true to start right away, or it's 10 for the number of times we want to run the interval, and then this is true for start right away. So that's a couple more parameters, and that's different than uh, a traditional set interval. Also the time here, it's fun, it could be 2 comma 3 for instance and then it would randomly pick each time it runs the interval it says okay well should I wait two seconds or should I wait three seconds it'll randomly pick each time it runs sometimes it'll be two seconds sometimes it will be three if you wanted to you could run a series here that looks like this and then it would pick two it would wait two seconds then wait three seconds then wait two seconds then wait three seconds you can have a longer series and perhaps you're playing a note and those notes would play at certain times. This is called the Zim V value or Zim pick, and it allows us to pass in um, sort of dynamic parameters there. All right, well, let's get back to the question at hand. This is the first parameter. The second parameter of interval asks what function to run every two seconds. This is not quite doing that. This is calling the function right at this point and whatever that function returns would be the function that we would run not the move function so what was really intended was this um, call call the move function every two seconds don't actually call it right now because putting the round brackets there like that calls it right now and puts the results there so let's have a little look this function move does not actually return anything. So it returns undefined, which means undefined is being placed here. And basically what's going to happen is the move function will run once uh, right away and it will animate and then it will no longer run anything because it'll be uh, undefined. The interval is trying to run an undefined function. So let's have a look at and see what this does when we open it up in a browser. it is just once and if we F12 that it says hi just once so that would be pretty confusing wouldn't it all right let's try returning a function here return so if we want we could return a function this is a function object or function literal and in here we can zog yo all right so now this function is being returned so it's being placed right there in a sense whenever you return something you can actually pick up what you're returning and place it right there like that and there we go so that's what it's looking please call this function which is going to say yo every two seconds let's let's have a go it will do the rect first though so here's the high from the rect being called right away then a yo this is after two seconds there's another yo 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 
So that's a little bit unusual. We don't usually do that, and we could do it. What was intended was to call move, but we're going to run into a problem because if, if we just say please call the move function, the move function is expecting a target to animate. Now, if we weren't fancy and passing in that target, the answer would be don't expect anything and just say rect, rect.animate. And so that would work. Please call the move function every two seconds. Don't call it right away. But when the, make the interval call that. We're telling the interval what to call, not calling right away. So that's the main issue. It's just a plain JavaScript issue, that one. All right, so then once the function move runs, it's going to call the rect each time. Now, this isn't quite going to do what was intended either, but we'll see that at least the rect function will be called. <laughs> There's hi, hi, hi. Well, I suppose maybe that's what's intended. Each time it um, starts off at a y of 50, and then it's um, doing from 50 to its current location its current location is centered. And the next time it arrives there, it will be centered again, because when it comes from 50, it will arrive at, um, it will arrive at being centered. So the next time the interval goes, it will be doing it from 50 to centered. Actually, that is what uh, he was probably wanting to do. So that looks good. In the question, we thought maybe there might be an issue with that as well, in that once, it's uh, once, but this is going to the cent to the center place. I was thinking that it might go to a y of 50, and then we keep on going to that y of 50. OBJ, by the way, could be props. Props is the current way that we uh, call that. OBJ was a little. We would constantly be talking about the animation object, which might be OBJ, or the animation object could have been the configuration object for the animation. This also could be called, <laughs> could have been called the animation object. So it became a bit confusing. So now we call it the props. So this is the props object. And I suppose that could be the animate object. All right. Um, if we didn't have the from here, the, uh, the other issue that we were, people or that we were talking about or that we were bringing this up was that if we, once we animate it to a Y of 50, the next time we call it, it's going to be at 50, so it's not going to move again. So let's check out uh, what this does. So we refresh here, and this will start in the center, and then animate to, uh, after two seconds, because it's in an interval, animate to 50. But note the interval's going up, but this thing's stuck at 50, because it's already there. If we wanted to move it 50 each time, uh, this is maybe what I was thinking, is this would animate uh, the Y 50 each time relatively. So let's have a look here. So we have to wait for the interval to go two seconds, then it moves 50, then it moves 50, then it moves 50. So this is sort of what I was thinking maybe uh, Jonathan was looking for with the interval, is something like that. And if that's the case, we use a relative amount 50 here. Um, I think that's it. Let's just have a quick look and see if there's any other questions in there. Um, congrats on doing school. It goes in here. Say the function is moved called once, never by the interval. But if I com oh, but if I comment out the interval line, then the function is not even run once. Yes. So if uh, we do this, then the interval, uh, well, move is being run. That's when, when it happens once. From that point on, the interval is trying to do the uh, the results, as, as we said there, the return value, which means it won't run again. If we comment out the whole interval, then this was not even run once. So that's the reason why that is. And this has been a Zim Explorer talking about animation and intervals and that uh, tricky little thing. We, uh, that's happened before. It happens before with a lot of people who are starting to code and same with an event function. If you, if you have an event where you're saying uh, rectangle.click, call this function. Well, let's just do that. It would be something like rect.onClick, I guess. Call the function. If we wanted to call the function move, 
we wouldn't do it this way because that calls it right away. We would say what function to run. So that would actually work too. When we click it, it will now move 50 each time. Shall we try? And here it is here. Whoop. Click. There it moves. Click. There it moves. Click. There it moves. But once again, if we put the round brackets there, can you imagine what's going to happen? Okay, have a think. Refresh here. Moves right away. E is undefined. Click and uh, nothing's happening when we click. E is undefined. Uh, I'm not sure where that comes into play. I, oh, I guess what it, it's saying, the, this must be the function to a call. It happens to be a minified JavaScript file. It just happens to be E. It's basically saying there's nothing. We, did, we passed in an empty thing here. So the on method is expecting a function to call. Well, this is returning undefined, so there, there's no second parameter. With the interval, we did an error check against that. Maybe that might be a good thing to do. Alrighty, this has been a Zim Explorer. I am Dr. Abstract. Are you having fun? Yeah, I would say so. Zim Explore. Come on in to Zim at zimjs.com. Zimjs.com slash Slack if you have questions, and we'd love to hear from you. Ciao.